Well, this is our facts of Mars. Glenn Beck has been given a suspension from Sirius XM Radio for a week. Because he did an interview with some nutcase called Brad Thor. In which Beck agreed with his threatening comments toward Donald Trump. Basically, this wacko is talking about assassinating him. Should he get in office? Which you can't do, that is illegal. You can't say that about anyone. It doesn't matter what their political politics are. You can't threaten to assassinate him. Speaking with Beck last Thursday, Brad Thor predicted Trump would turn dictator and cause an extinction-level event for America if elected. Who will stand in the way of Donald Trump overstepping his constitutional authority as president, he asked. If Congress won't remove him from office, what patriot will step up and do that if he oversteps his mandate as president, his constitutional granted authority? continued Thor, further predicting that the Congress will never have the balls to impeach Donald Trump. I don't think there's legal means available. I think it will be a terrible, terrible position for the American people to be in to get Trump out of office because he won't be able to do it through the Congress. Oh, my God. I would agree with you on that, replied Beck. I think... The voices like ours go away. And indeed they did after receiving massive amounts of criticism from listeners who believe that Thor was implying assassination. Sirius XM made the surprising decision to suspend Beck's program for a week. And here's what Sirius said. Sirius XM encourages a diversity of discourse and opinion on our talk programs. However, comments recently made by a guest on the independently produced Glenn Beck program, in our judgment, may be reasonably construed by some to have been advocating harm against an individual currently running for office, which we cannot and will not condone. For the time being, radio host David Webb will take over Beck's 9-12 to 12 slot on Patriot Channel 125. I don't blame uh, Sirius for doing this. I took a look at their service. I have a car that's all set up for it. There's only like th three or four channels that I might listen to. Very few. Just not worth it to me. Beck later commented that Thor was not in any way suggesting or implying that a patriot step up and do harm to the billionaire. He was only saying the Congress wouldn't have the backbone to impeach Trump should his president's t presidency take a turn for the worse. The agenda is to silence all voices that disagree with Donald Trump, said back the day after the interview, and that's all it says. Uh, well, no, that isn't what this is about, Mr. Beck. If you're just disagreeing with Trump, you wouldn't have gotten suspended. Just saying, you know, I don't like this policy, I don't like that policy, here's why. That's not going to get you suspended. Uh, what this dirtbag was doing was implying that Trump should be assassinated. And as I pointed out, you just can't do that. And here's what Note said uh, from the guy who wrote this article. First, I've read some of Thor's books. They're not bad, but he's no Clive Cussler. Second, where was he when Obama overstepped his constitutional boundaries? This guy is afraid of Trump? Well, that's the point. Uh, Obama's become basically a dictator, and this guy, this idiot, apparently doesn't care about that. These people don't care about the fact that Obama's become a full-blown dictator. 
They're simply looking at Trump and saying, oh, no, no, no. Danger, 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 here comes the Trump. Sorry, I hit my microphone. I don't know if that captured over. So here we have a whack job who's basically implying that Trump should be assassinated. I don't know where all this is leading. I mean, Trump's cutting it from the left. He's cutting it from the right. I don't really see Beck as being on the right anymore anyway. This is disgusting. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Thanks for watching.